Hello there, do you struggle breaking the car down in time in F1 2020 or do you lock up the tires a little bit too much to your liking? Well, you have come to the right video because I'm about to go and show you how to brake in F1 2020. Let's get into it. My name is Tom and I make videos on YouTube helping you get better at Formula 1 games. So if you learned something, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe and like this video, it would very much help me out. I actually qualified for the 2020 F1 Esports Pro Draft and I'm about to share you my secrets and hope to get you a little bit better at braking. We're going to be talking about ABS and what it is, braking techniques, braking and elevation changes and braking while turning and why you should not do that. Let's start with what is ABS. ABS is the anti-lock brake system and is an assist in the F1 game which you can enable. The system automatically prevents you from locking up the tires but comes with a deficit of a little bit less stopping power when trying to brake down into a corner. So whenever you have the assist disabled, you'll have a little bit more potential of trying to stop the car down before a corner. But it does become a lot harder because if you lock up the tires, you're going to get a flat spot, you're going to get some more tire wear and you're going to overshoot the corner which you want to avoid. Now let me show you what happens when you lock up. Well, that was not good. <laughs> now, how do we prevent that from happening? You do it with a technique called trail braking. When you're going to a hard braking zone, you want to go on full throttle and punch the brakes full on with full stopping power. Once you get closer to turning, closer into the corner, you want to be letting loose of the brake gradually, really gradually, and it will allow you to actually have a lot less probability of locking up your tires. You may ask, why is that? That is because the quicker you go, the more downforce you have, and the easier it is to uh, punch the brakes, the slower you go, the less downforce you have, and the easier it is to go and lock up your brakes. So you need to go and let loose of your brakes before you slow down all the way. It needs to be a gradual transition. For medium and low braking zones, keep the braking input gradual, and don't push the brake pedal all the way. Keep it gradual because you want to be carrying as much speed as you can through the corner as well, which is one of the secrets of making you fast. And it all starts with the braking zone, of course. And carrying speed through the corners is one of the most important parts of braking successfully. If you are having issues of locking up, then I could recommend you stay off of the curbs or uneven surfaces because they actually upset the car. So if you want to get into it, then just try and stay off of the curbs first. Once you feel comfortable, you can use a little bit more of the track because using more of the track, of course, is uh, crucial of becoming fasting. But that is another video. Now, this might sound weird at first, but there's also engine braking. You start engine braking by shifting down very fast. Then the engine will naturally help you to slow down as well as you're in a lower gear. So what you want to do, what the technique is here for engine braking, is that once you go into a turn, you want to shift down the first couple of gears very quickly, then the last couple of gears a little bit more slowly so that you can get yourselves in the right gear and don't upset the car going into the corner. But first couple of gears want to go down really really quickly so that you get the engine helping you slow down as well now let's go on to the next subject which is braking while turning or actually not braking while turning because you do not i repeat you do not want to be braking while turning or of course you got to brake while turning because i mean you have to turn somehow but the ground rule is when you start turning you want to brake less so brake less when you start turning more because what the brakes do is whenever you start turning more the brakes will lock up more easily so what you want to do is you want to brake all out in a straight line keep it in a straight line brake all out use the chill braking technique that i touched upon a little bit earlier and when you start and to be able to actually let loose of the brakes a little bit then you want to start turning and you of course want to gradually let loose of the brakes even more and then throughout the turn you're going to start going onto the throttle again now let me show you an example of what happens when you start turning while you are braking hard still the results are actually really big you can definitely see the difference between braking all out and going in a straight line and braking all out while turning it is actually insane. So by this demonstration, you can see what it actually does. Now let's go on to the last subject, and that is actually braking and elevation changes. So actually, gravity has a factor in breaking down your braking zones. 
if you have an elevation change or a braking zone going downwards, then gravity is actually going to do its job and is actually going to give you a lot more speed downwards to the corner and you'll have to brake earlier and it'll be easier to actually uh, lock up your tires when going downwards of course. But the other way around, gravity can help you as well. Once you go up a corner, so the elevation changes are actually uh, going up, you will actually be able to brake later and have less problems uh, locking up the tires because the gravity is slowing the car down for you and generating more downforce as you are slammed onto the track. So if you are gonna go down a turn then make sure you go and brake a little bit earlier, be a little bit more careful on the braking. If you're gonna go up then you can brake a little bit later and you don't need to be as careful. So you can actually look around and see what you should do for each single turn. Now ladies and gentlemen, those were the tips for the braking tutorial of today. Let me know in the comments which corner you think is the hardest corner on the entirety of the calendar. Make sure if you actually became faster, maybe five tenths a lap faster, shaved off like that, tell me in my Twitch stream. I would love to hear it from you. I actually do a stream on Twitch and it is a very high energetic show. So if you want to join in sometime, make sure you go and leave a follow. The links are in the description right now. If you have not yet subscribed, then make sure you do it as well. Leave a like on this video if you actually became a little bit more knowledgeable about braking. And I would love to see you in the next video. So peace out. See you later. Sayonara. See you in the next one. The fire red lines are gonna come out right now as we go in. Rev the engine, get try and go all out for the start. All the Belgium Grand Prix is the lights go out right now. We try and put it into the second gear, into third gear, try and get a good start. As signs is actually having a hard time right there. There's somebody going up the inside, it's one. Oh, it's actually your teammate. Let's make it sandwich right there. We get completely sandwiched.